Hey y'all. I've been wanting to make this roasted cauliflower that I saw at a restaurant, Chelsea Market in New York City, about this time in 2020, so in the before times. Uh, I haven't had a chance to go back there, obviously, so we're gonna do it here. What I've done is I've washed and cut the base of this off, but I've made sure that I left the, the leaves intact. So the base is nice and flat, so it stands nicely. But we've got all the nice leaves. So I've got the water already boiling. It's got a ton of salt in it. And I'm just going to drop this in here very carefully so I don't burn myself. Hopefully, yep, there we go. Almost entirely submerged. I'm just gonna kind of rock it around so the top is down. There we go. Come on. There. It's not gonna wanna stay that way, I can see now. But seven minutes in the boiling water, I'll keep an eye on it, make sure it stays mostly submerged. And then we're going to go out of this boiling water after seven minutes. I'm gonna let it come to room temperature so I can handle it. We're gonna rub it down with some olive oil and some gray sea salt. And then we're gonna roast it at 475 until it's really nice brown. Now what they did at this place was they served it just like on a metal tray, but it was wrapped in like parchment paper or maybe some butcher paper or something and people were just forking it. So uh, that's that's what I want to try. I will be back when this is off the boil. Okay, so this has been going for about seven minutes. I'm just going to fish it out and put it on this, on this steamer basket on a plate. And then I'm gonna put this in the sink for a second, just so it can drain. Oops. I've already lined this, this pan with foil and I've got the oven going at 480. So what I'm waiting for now is the cauliflower to come down to a temperature that I can handle it and rub the olive oil and, and gray, gray salt on. Waiting for the oven to come to temp. I'll see you in a minute. All right, the oven is at 480 now and this is cool enough for me to handle, although it's steaming just a little bit still. Um, it's, it's cool enough for me to handle. So what I've done is it's been sitting on this paper towel just to absorb anything. I can use that for something else. I've got the French gray sea salt and I'm sure any kosher salt would work, just something coarse. I'm gonna put it in a little bowl here though, just so I can not get my fingers in this. And again, this is French gray sea salt. And I got this from Oaktown Spices in Oakland. I just have it shipped up here. And so you take about two palmfuls of olive oil. And this would be a lot easier if I didn't have a bandaged hand. So trying to get it all over. Get one more handful. Get these leaves. Notice I've left the leaves intact because those are really good crispy from what I understand. So clean my hand off a little bit. And now I'm just going to rub in this sea salt sprinkle it and then rub it on. It's, it's pretty coarse. I 
again. Much easier if I was able to use two hands. Well, let me give it a shot. Keep the finger out of the way. There we go. Of course, it's going to be saltier in some places than others. It's to be expected. Something is crunk. Clunk clumpy as that. All right, and then we're just gonna put it in the oven and come back when it's nice and golden brown. And I'll let you know how long that takes. I'll actually show you this first. It's getting close to being done. Let's take a look. Okay, this is ready to come out of the oven now. So I'm just gonna turn it off. Get these gloves on. I don't think this finger is gonna fit in these gloves, but we'll get there. Oh man, that looks good. Nice and golden. Um, let's get a, something here. Really nice and golden. This looks great. Ah, there we go. It's got a really nice color to it. So I'm going to just get some of this parchment paper. Cut. your hit of ASMR for the day. I'm going <clears> to <throat> bring my serving dish over. Oh, no wait, I was supposed to put a little more olive oil on there. Look at me being real. So we're gonna drizzle a little more olive oil. And then um, we get some Malden salt. A little stick dicer. Give it a shot. Mm. This is really good. Winner. All right. Take care.